Hey, I'm Ed. Today I'm going to show you how to test the wiring harness for the freezer door in a refrigerator that's not dispensing ice. Before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to join our do-it-yourself repair community and get notified each time we post a new video guide. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Let's get our tools together. Today we're going to need a multimeter and a Phillips head screwdriver. And please remember that safety comes first. Always disconnect your refrigerator by unplugging it or switching the breaker off, as well as turning off its water supply before doing any work on it. The wire harness in the freezer door transmits electrical power and signals to the parts in the freezer door like the ice dispenser mechanism. We're going to need to access the wiring in the dispenser and the wiring at the top of the door. First, we need to remove the dispenser tray from the dispenser assembly. There will be three screws under the tray on the front that need to be removed. Once you have the screws removed, you can lift the dispenser cover off. You'll need to remove the three screws holding the dispenser housing in place and slide it out. Then disconnect the ribbon cable for the switchboard. Once it's out, disconnect the wire harness for the freezer door. Then remove the six Phillips head screws holding the control board in place. Once it's loose, reach behind the housing and disconnect the water supply line. Now we have access to the wiring in the dispenser, but we also need to access the wiring at the top of the door. You'll need to remove the hinge cover at the top of the door by removing the Phillips head screw securing it, and then you'll see a connector that you'll need to disconnect. Now let's set our multimeter to continuity. We need to test each wire from the connector at the dispenser and the wire connector at the top of the door. Touch one meter lead to the orange white wire at the top of the door and then the other to the dispenser. Then touch from the red wire to the red black wires at the same locations. Then from the light blue to light blue, from the tan to tan, from the purple to purple, and from blue white to blue white. There should be continuity at each of these connection points. You're also going to want to check for any damage to wiring at the top of the door since that could be a weak point. If any of the wiring doesn't have continuity, then you'll need to replace the wiring harness in the door. To reassemble, take the dispenser housing and reinsert the water line into the water dispenser hole. After that, reconnect the freezer door wire harness to the back of the control board. Install the three screws to secure the housing, followed by the six screws holding the control board. Now we can reconnect the wiring from the switchboard back into the control board and put the dispenser cover back in place. Install the screws that hold the panel in place. Don't forget to slide the drip tray back in. Once you reconnect the harness and screw the hinge cover back on, you're done. Don't forget to plug your fridge back in or flip the circuit breaker back on, as well as turning the water back on. You made it. Great job. If you need a new wiring harness for your freezer door, grab your model number and head over to AppliancePartsPros.com to place an order. Your new part should arrive in just a few days. And if your wiring harness was good, check out our other troubleshooting guides to find out what's preventing your fridge from dispensing ice. If you thought this video was helpful and want to see more like it, hit those like and subscribe button. We appreciate you watching and look forward to helping you with all your appliance repair needs. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.